Hello guys, welcome to the new episode of Kelo Chess India and in today's video we are going to discuss what is your profile in Lee Chess, how you can change the things around and what things you can use on your profile to learn more to improve your game so without wasting any time let's start just one request guys if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to the channel and also make sure that you leave a like on this video or any comment that you want to suggest us for improvement or anything you would like to tell us so let's start guys so this is your profile now how to reach the profile when you log in this is something that you see let me just log in this is the first page that you see when you log in on the right hand side top you can see here this is your profile you have to click on this and then you have to click on profile now one of the common questions that i get from all of my viewers and a lot of my students as well sir how can we find our own game so that is the first thing that i would like to explain here the first and the most important thing is this games can you see here 922 games this is where you have to click if you have to find out all of your games so just click here and then it will show you the complete history of all of your games you can click on any game to load it and then you can try to analyze the game for example if you want to analyze this game which i lost you can just click here it will load up the game you can go back in the game and also if you just scroll down you have this beautiful okay it's not allowing me to scroll down yeah you can click on the analysis board here after you click on analysis board if you scroll down you get this beautiful option of request a computer analysis you just have to click on this and it will start analyzing your game this is very this is one of the most beautiful things i have seen on this leeches website so it analyzes your games it gives you beautiful comments out there that where you went wrong on the right hand side you can see that these values are now getting updated it's commenting something on your moves that this move was inaccuracy you could have played a better move which was bishop f5 so this is the way guys you can go to your profile i'll just show you once again you can just go to your profile then you have to click on this 922 games you can click on any game that you have lost or you have won to analyze it once you click on the game this window will load up then you have to click on analysis board after you click on analysis board if you scroll down you will get option over here request computer analysis here i'm not getting the option because i have already analyzed this game i just have to click on learn from my mistakes and it will start an activity where it will put up a position where you played something wrong in the game so white played here bishop g5 which was not great and something else that white could have played is pawn to e3 here okay so it just suggests you where you can go uh where you can improve in the game so now let's go back to the profile and let me explain you a few other things on the profile now the first thing that you can see is the left hand side section here where there are different categories of the game that you play you see you play bullet you play blitz you play rapid it will show you details of all of these formats and the rating that you have for this formats suppose you want to just check the bullet games you can click over here it will load up your bullet statistics and here this graph shows you how your rating has increased or decreased over a period of time so you can just shake your mouse anywhere on this graph and it will explain you where the rating has dropped or in which month or which day the rating has increased so this is fantastic you can go to blitz also you can uh, show this uh, okay now why this is important is all the coaches out there who are coaching a lot of students they can use this feature to judge a student or to just check if the student is improving or not improving this is also one of my techniques to gauge if the student is able to improve or he is stuck at the same level okay so this is what you can also explain the parents if you like that this is how your student has or your kid has improved his rating over the time of last few months and it helps you in developing your character in developing you as a coach if you use statistics to explain the parents or the audience that you have now coming back to the profile let's me go back to the profile now so i go back to the profile and what is the next thing so left side we have all the puzzles and everything all the rating over there then let's start from the top left this is a followers number of followers that you have these are the tournament points so tournament points is something that you achieve when you play some tournament when you play for example i have ranked 39th in this tournament from 82 players so i got some points i played four uh, four games and i got 13 points so how these points are useful i am still not sure if you know how these points can be used you can just uh, men mentioned in the comment section but i think right now this is just uh, a casual tournament points kind of uh, a statistics it doesn't use anywhere so let's go back to the profile now that is about the tournament points 
and then we have studies so if you click on studies this is all the studies that you have created so far and I create all the studies for my students as well for uh, common topics but these are all studies that you have created that is what you can see in the profile sections over studies over here and if you like to post something in some forum you can post something some study or something that you want you can just click here and try to uh, post your uh, whatever thoughts you have you have a blog or something or something that you would like to share you can just click here and share next is we have on the right hand side there is some settings let's see what's there in the settings now in the settings we can change the profile we can change the country we can change the location you can change the information about you your name surname your rating actual video rating you can mention here and if you have any social links you can mention them over here also there are other options but these are not the part of your profile but there, this is something else this is in the settings that you can go and check now coming back after settings we have the list of people that we have blocked so we must have blocked someone in the past because they were irritating us or they were not good players so you can just click on this button it will list out all the players that you have blocked so far i will not click on this button because it will show the list of all the people all the students have blocked or the people that have blocked so far next is watch games this is just a casual uh, i think this is just if you click it will load up your latest game it you can go through the games your own games that you played so far then we have this most important option download pgn games or export games this is when you click here it will export all of your games in a single pgn file okay so you have all your games in a single pgn file in this uh, file right here okay so you just have to export it that's it and if you want you can keep a backup of this file or you can open in any of the other softwares like if you're using chess base if you're using skilled if you're using analyze this on the mobile you can just use this pgn file to load your games there okay now let's move to the next option there is the chess insights option you have to click here and once you click here it will ask you whether you want to generate insights for your id now what is insight so once i click on generate insights it will study our games and it will come up with new statistics so guys for uh, chess insights i am going to make a separate video it will cover in-depth analysis of how you can use chess insights and how you can use it to improve your game but right now let's come back to the profile again and on the profile again i'll just try to click here over here you can see there is a icon over here on top of this uh, settings options so this is a streamers icon all the leeches ids which stream chess online on twitch or on youtube and they are approved by leeches they get this icon on top of your profile so you must be wondering why this icon is there I, hence i would like to explain this it's a streamers icon okay so if you just scroll down now there is another important thing that i want you to show that is activity wherein you can see your last few days activity i think it covers about last one week and then one of the important things is 923 games in this you get a category of games rated games if you want to check how many rated games you have played it will show all the list of rated games if you want to check only the games which you have won you can click on this wins so it will list out all the games that you have won uh, losses all the games that you have lost you can just check over here then the draws all the drawn games imported games if you have imported something into the leeches uh, like a pgn file from some other website or from some other database it will list it out here and then we have the advanced search advanced search is one of the beautiful options guys i really like this option because it gives you very good information what happened for example what happened in last month am i improving or am I going in a in a wrong direction in my studies? So what I do is generally I just click on this uh, month date criteria. I just select first of January, that is last month, and I select the last day of the January, last day of the month, that is 31st of January. And now you can just click on search. So it will bring you all the games from last one month. But what is something that is going to help you? Suppose you want to study only those games which you have lost. So what you can do is you can uh, so you can click on loser here and on loser you can select your own ID. Once you do that and click on search, it will bring all the games from last month which you have lost. Okay. Now there are further more criteria that you can add here. For example, if you want to find only those games you have, which you have lost with black color okay now loser is the the one with your id in winner color you can put as white so it will show all the games with black that you have lost 
Okay, so let's try to search this. Okay, now see all the lose lost games from the black side it has listed over here. Okay, so this is how you can find out how many games you have lost with any specific color, white color or black color, and then you can try to study the games, guys. This is very important. Okay, now you can see 21 games found. So there were 21 games you lost from black pieces. Now if I select here black and if I click on search, it will list out all the games which I have lost with the white color. Now it says 23. So more or less the number is quite matching. So it's it means that I am pretty much prepared from white as well as from black. But if you get a very good difference of a number, for example, from white key, white side, you have won almost 50 games. And but with, with, with the black colors, you have just won 10, 10 games. So that is what is important here. It will list out or it will tell you where you need to work upon your skills. OK, so this is how you can use this uh, filters or the search criteria in the profile section. And I think right now these are all the options that I've covered so far on Leech's profile. If you guys any if you guys have any questions, any queries, just let me know in the comment section, guys. It's just a casual discussion. I it's just a casual video which I wanted to share with all of you guys. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please hit the like button, guys. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel as well. Also, you should check this video, which is about uh, the tournaments which are coming on this 7th or Another video might come up over here after some days because of the YouTube policy. So just check all of these videos which are mentioned in up and down areas. And also you can click here to subscribe. Okay, just click here to subscribe. Thanks guys for watching. Have a beautiful time playing chess. Be happy. Take care until we meet in the next video.